We all had been blessed by having Sam. He was um, an unexpected surprise. He ended up being brilliant, taught himself to read, um, was goofy and wonderful and very nerdy, and went to a gifted program. He was one of the two people from his high school chosen to work at, in a, a half-day senior year and summertime internship with Dow Chemical in their laboratories. He was chosen for leadership camp. He won the International Science Fair. He won the Science Fair every year. Anything he ever attempted, he accomplished. He won poetry contest. He was goofy. He was an Eagle Scout. He um, was voted sexiest legs and biggest flirt. <laughs> he uh, was his um, soccer team's co-captain and their goalie. Played ultimate... I'm Jim Howell, and my son was in a car accident on February 14th, 2005, Valentine's Day. And from that point on, our lives dramatically changed. It was a very snowy night. Three miles from our house, he went around a curve, and he believes he reached for his cell phone that had fallen off of the seat. And when he did, he went over a snowbank, became airborne, and at that point uh, was not able to stop himself, of course. And They initially told us that he wasn't going to survive, that he was still alive, but they didn't think he'd make it to the hospital. Uh, by the time we got to the hospital, we were taken there by the sheriff's deputies, and uh, that's when the nightmare began. Every year, there are more and more people who are going to need services to treat their brain injuries. In Michigan alone, there are 98,000 people living with a brain injury, 58,000 who could have a brain injury in any particular year. It's the most pervasive, misunderstood, and underfunded medical condition in the United States. The Brain Injury Association of Michigan is totally crucial. It's the advocacy organization that provides a voice to brain injured survivors and their families. It's the conduit for brain injury uh, survivors to have access to care in Michigan, directing them to a fabulous network of care in the state of Michigan with over 50 CARF accredited brain injury treatment facilities, much more than in any other state. Here in Michigan, we have the best continuum of care anywhere in the country. It is the broadest, most expert care that can be obtained. The Brain Injury Association of Michigan for over 30 years has served this state and its citizens. And, and we've been able to do so with tremendous support from the community, financially as well as through their ability to work with us and, and take some of our messages and put them to action in their local communities. The current status of care in Michigan is because of the Michigan No Fault Act that provides a benefit for every one of our citizens. And it's recently been under attack and with the risk of it being crippled or, or actually changed altogether. And the Brain Injury Association of Michigan is leading the fight to preserve this excellent level of care. You saw the injury to Congresswoman Gabby Giffords. Got excellent care in Arizona, but ultimately was moved to Houston, Texas to receive further rehabilitation. If a person is injured here in Michigan, whether it's car crash or a slip and fall, they are treated at one of the major medical centers throughout Michigan and can uh, take advantage of a continuum of care. If they need long-term care, truly Michigan is one of the leaders and the very best in the country. We have a job to make sure it continues to be. We know we're very blessed. The prognosis for Sam was so much more dire than what it's ended up being, and it should have been looking at his CAT scans and his MRIs of his brain. They played a huge part in the initial portion. I love when they say something is not possible, because then I'll do it. <laughs> it's miraculous that he's able to do the things he's doing, but he wouldn't have without the therapy. There's no way he would have, and I mean, look, we were able to be an hour and a half from our home in a wonderful facility with doctors that knew what they were doing. He had access to a Trauma One Center with, with the physical therapy hooked right on it. It was, it was made for Sam. Well, the Brain Injury Association gave us that window, uh, that light to reach for, knowing that it was possible and that we only had to try that much more. Without what support and monetary support, 
they played, I would not have come out of the hospital even. He never says no. He's feisty. He, he, he doesn't know how to fail. And so he continues believing he's going to do well. I think he's amazing. He does a wonderful job. He has a wonderful attitude. There are times I wish I had his attitude. Um, he never gives up, and that's the key. Uh, we haven't given up on him, and he hasn't given up on him. Is it true you're choosing your profession because you want to be around girls? No. <laughs> <laughs> I choose a class because I want to be around girls. Oh, okay.